So not in any particular order, I'm going to be taking some critical technology skills that I believe is relevant that any HR professional should be better at or build competence in. But let me start with online collaboration tools. COVID-19 has made work from home and remote work to become the order of the day. And we are not seeing it going anytime soon, which means that as an HR professional, you need to get familiar with online collaboration tools like Zoom, like Microsoft Teams, like Skype for Business, like Slack. Uh, interestingly, I got to know about Slack this year. Yes, yeah, no doubt about it. I got to know about Slack because a client uh, needed, I, I'm, I'm currently going through a 12 weeks program with a client and we have to collaborate via Slack. And I got to know about it and it's a very interesting tool. So you as an HR professional, what online technology tools are you familiar with or not familiar with or you need to get familiar with? I think you can start off from there. Uh, the other part to it is talking about HR software. I know that HR software is something that most HR people run away from because it has to do with the intersection between information technology and human resources. But it's something that has come to stay. As simple as your human resource information systems. There is a gradual shift from picking up physical copies of employee data and soft copies. Now, all of those soft copies need to reside somewhere. That's where your email resource information system comes to play. Simple things as your learning management system. So most online trainings, or let me say the gradual shift from physical training to online training that has now come to stay will sit on a learning management system, which means a learning management system would be very, very useful for you as an HR professional. But what about payroll software? As an HR professional, you cannot continue to bury your head in the sand and say, me, I don't know anything about technology and I'll remain like that. Sorry, your job will be replaced by somebody else. Why don't you pick up an interest in learning an HR software, learning how each of these things intersect with your job. And you would, you would see that that would really improve your lot a great deal. What about the concept of cloud computing and cloud storage? Yes, that's the critical thing. I've had cause to change my phone a couple of times and just simply by backing up my data on Google has helped me, has saved me the stress of transferring data. My contact is backed up on my Google account. So when I change devices and I log in into the phone, I get my data back. I get all the information associated with a former phone. Now, that's a simple example of cloud computing. Now, with the advent of remote work becoming the order of the day, cloud computing is now becoming very critical, meaning organizations are moving away from on-premise physical servers, IT infrastructure, and they are moving to the cloud. They are moving documents to Google Drive. They are moving documents to OneDrive. They are moving it to SharePoint such that anywhere in the world, just by an internet connection, you can log in. A simple, even your email system is on the cloud. Your email does not exist on your phone. You can log in anywhere in the world and your email get downloaded to your laptop, either via Outlook or, the, or any other uh, email software you're using. But in actual sense, that data is sitting on the cloud. That's the knowledge of or cloud computing that an HR professional needs to be familiar with. Then the knowledge of analytics and reporting. Now, as an HR professional, and according to the Future of Jobs report, analytics, data analytics is becoming the number one job of the future, which means that your understanding of the intersection between analytics and HR will become very useful. Ability to be able to analyze people data and make HR decisions. That is becoming very critical today, which means you cannot afford to remain ignorant of analytics. So as an HR professional, to remain relevant in the world of work, in the future of jobs, you need to embrace analytics. Let me talk about social media, adoption of social media. I'm sure you'll be wondering, I say, what? Why? Social media is not a technology school tool, it's been with us. Yes, social media, the world has become social. And immediately the lockdown of COVID-19 started, organizations are beginning to adopt social media as a work tool. And who is going to be responsible for managing the people in the, in the organization if HR people does not understand how WhatsApp works? If HR people does not understand how Telegram works? If HR people does not understand how LinkedIn works? That's looking strange. But I know a few HR people that does not have any social media footprint. Which means if you don't understand what's happening on social media, how do you know what people are saying about your organization? There. Yeah. So here you have it. These are my own top 
uh, technology skills. Uh, you could drop yours in the comment section below. Let's have a conversation. Uh, this is my own response to the question that I've been asked that. So what are the areas that an HR professional must take serious to remain relevant even in the future of jobs? And there you have it. You feel you want to have a conversation with me? Drop a comment in the section below and let's have a conversation. Or you want to book a 30 minute career clarity session? Let's talk about how your job will remain relevant in the future of jobs in the next five years. Yes, I'm open. There's a link in the description where you can be able to book that career clarity session with me. See you in the next episode.